Who is Uncommon Fossil? And they taking a look at the Palkia V-Star starter deck. It's a solid deck. It's a bit odd, I will say. Um, and obviously, with all these starter decks, it can be improved. But this one can be improved to, I think, a pretty nice deck. But today, we're just looking at the starter build. So it's a 2-2 two -two, uh, Origin Form Palkia V-Star deck. That's what you're going to get in these starter decks, a 2-2 two -two line. Uh, but Palkia is a good, uh, works fine as a 2-2 two -two line. It's not bad. It's got a very nice attack, subspace swell. For two water energy, it does 60 plus 20 more for each bench Pokemon. So that gets to... 220, 260, I believe. And then the Star Portal ability is V-Star Power. Very nice. Uh, once during the game, you can accelerate up to three water energies from the discard pile to your water Pokemon any way you like. Powering up the Palkia. Um, you can power up your Radiant Greninja with it. Uh, now, it, it is, it's a nice threat to have. Just use it carefully because, look, the Moonlight Shuriken, very nice attack. Three energy, water, water, Carlos. You do have to discard two energy from this Pokemon. It does 92 of your opponent's Pokemon. So if you can take out the right Pokemon at the right time, it's very well worth it. But then at you, but then you've used the Palkia's Acceleration. You have a hard time powering up Radiant Greninja again. Or if you don't have any energy on a Palkia for the next turn's attack, you can find yourself in trouble. So just be careful. But Moonlight Shuriken, a nice attack. It's really here, though, largely also for for concealed cards. This is, you always want it for that. And then the Moonlight Shuriken is a, a threat, right? Concealed cards, uh, you discard an energy from hand and draw two cards, which is very nice. Nice little easy setup draw engine. And of course, Palkia wants energy in the discard pile. So it works together really, really nicely in the deck. All right, what does the deck play? It plays some uh, Pokemon that evolve from Horsey. So there's two different Horseys. This one, three copies of this 60 HP one. Uh, smoke screen for one energy hits for 10, on, and you flip a coin if um, next time they attack. If tails, that attack doesn't happen. So, you know, you don't really want to rely on that, but it's there. And then this 40 HP horsey, which you got to be careful with the 40 HP playing these days, but it does have free retreat. So that's why it's in the deck. Then we've got, let's see, there's a stage one. Yeah, the Cedra. I think that's the only Cedra, right? Uh, Cedra 80 HP stage one. It's got the swim freely attack, which is why it's in here. There's two copies. We'll we'll see what this what, what that's about shortly. Um, you can uh, use that attack. You don't really want to use that one again. You, it does ten, and then your opponent you, again they flip the following turn for damage, just like with similar to the one horsey. But then it's got hydro jet, which you can do. It does twenty damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each water energy attached to this Pokemon. So you can hit the bench again, um, so that's an option there. Um, I'll jump, look, I'll just jump ahead. The reason why the, the Swim Freely is important is because of the Finneon in the deck. There's one copy of this Oceanic Accompaniment ability. As often as you like during your turn, you may attach a Water Energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon that has the Swim Freely attack. So that's why Swim Freely is so important. Um, so the Seedra gets the energy onto it from the, King, uh, from the Finneon. And then from the Seedra, we can evolve into another attacker. Um, no, this is the attacker here that you're usually using with it. Um, Kingdra here uh, does 40 for each water energy attached. So if you toss a bunch of energies onto it, then you can use that attack. You have to, though, attack, accelerate the energies while it's still a Seedra and then evolve to the Kingdra. The Kingdra also has this nice thing that you, you get to the evolve into it, the Deep Sea King ability. When your active Pokemon's knocked out by damage, you may move any amount of water energy from that Pokemon to this Pokemon. So you can, the Kingdra can power itself up as well. There is another Kingdra in the deck, which you can obviously still use the Seedra to get energy on to attack with for 130 for two. But it's got this really nice ability uh, once during your turn, you may have either player shuffle their hand and put it on the bottom of their deck. Uh, if that player put any cards on the bottom of their deck that way, they draw four cards. Usually, I, I think it's best to just get yourself a fresh set of four cards. You you play the cards you have in hand, then put put your hand at the bottom of the deck, draw four cards. Um, so good, good there. You can do it to your opponent too if you're concerned about their hand. And if you have two king, both kingdoms in play. Of, of with this uh, seething currents ability, you can use it twice. Even you can use it twice for yourself. So I have done that, and I do enjoy that. So those are that's that line. And then there is also one seal which evolves into dugong. And the dugong also has swim freely attack. 
the same exact thing. And then it has flow return for two colors energy. Uh, you, sh for, does, you shuffle any amount of water energy from your Pokemon into your deck. And it does 40 damage per energy shuffled that way. So it doesn't get discarded. It goes into the deck. And it doesn't have to be off the Dugong. So it's a nice option as well. A 1-1 one, one line means, you know, if we get a piece of prize, it's not going to happen. So a little less consistent, not the focus of the deck, but that's there as an option. And then one mana fee to protect your bench, right? The Wave Veil stops damage to the bench Pokemon. We have, especially like the Finneon, 50 HP. You have these Horses and these Cedras that you're accelerating to. Uh, we need to protect it with mana fee, and you can attack with it potentially at times. 11 basic water energy, right? Just it's a water deck, so just water energy. And some nice support trainers here. Some of them we will probably change as we upgrade it. Asu uh, in Heavy Ball, uh, you know, it's a, just a very nice trainer to have. I'm glad they gave it to us. I don't know. Oh, well, you know, is this, how critical is it here? I don't know. But it's a very good item card. You, you need it in your collection, so it's cool. I'm glad they included it. Uh, you look at your face down prizes, reveal a basic Pokemon you find there, put it into your hand. Then you put the Asu in Heavy Ball, this card, in place of that face down prize card, you shuffle your, your prize cards so you don't know where they are. So it's a way to get a basic out of your prize cards. Just a good option for a lot of decks. We'll play three Candace. It's an okay supporter. Um, and and it, uh, it, look, it makes sense why it's here. You look at the top seven cards of your deck, it put reveal any number of water Pokemon and water energy and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. So it, it's okay. You don't know what you're going to get. So there's better trainers out there, but Candace obviously makes sense why it's here. One escape rope, right? Your opponent switches what their bench with active, and then you do the same. Uh, one level ball, uh, search for a Pokemon with 90 HP or less. Um, one echoing horn, right? Which is, which is good. It, it helps boost Palkia's V-Star attack or set up targets for something that hits the bench. Uh, you put a basic Pokemon for your opponent's discard pile onto their bench. Uh, for Irida, this is a very, very good supporter, and really, I'm glad they've included it in this deck. Um, back on PT's Yo days, Irida was very expensive. Palkia, when it came out, was a strong deck, was expensive, and these Iridas were crazy expensive. Uh, they're more affordable in live, and now they've given us four free in live, so very glad for that. You search your deck for a water Pokemon and an item card. So, you know, obviously, if you play the Chen Pao Baxcalibur, it gets you your Baxcalibur and Rare Candy. We do play Rare Candy, not Baxcalibur, but you can get your Palkia, your Palkia V-Star. You can get, you know, something to, uh, uh, you know, uh, a Pokemon Search or Echoing Horn, a lot of option energy search with it. So nice card there. One Pal Pad, put two supporters for the up to two supporters for the Disco Pal into your deck. A nice include one nest ball. Like why one nest ball, one level ball? Those are the questions with the deck, probably with fixing the deck later on. You know, kind of make either give more or why these exact numbers. I'm not certain. I guess the idea is Irida gets what you want. But you search your deck for a basic Pokemon and put it onto your bench. We know that is four Battle VIP Pass. So they're looking to set up turn one, right? Four Battle VIP Pass and four Irida. If you go second, you can you either get Battle VIP Pass directly or Irida for Battle v VIP Pass plus get a Pokemon. All right, Battle VIP Pass. You should know what it does. If not, here's it. It's really good. You can only use it the, on your first turn. You can use it your first turn, only first or second. You search your deck for two up to two basic Pokemon, put them onto your bench. So Really good. And, and well, the downside with it is very swingy. If you hit Battle VIP past turn one, you're set up, and the game usually goes well. You don't hit it, you may be in trouble, and the game goes badly. So it is a little bit too swingy, I will say, but it is very powerful. Uh, Melanie, nice for a v deck like this. You attach a Water Energy from your discard pile to one of your V Pokemon, which is the Palkia, and then you draw three cards. So very nice there. One Clara put up to two Pokemon and or two basic energies from the discard pile into your hand. Good there. A Lake Acuity, partly it's here to bump path. It has some value. Um, whether this is really what you need now, I'm not sure. Um, all Pokemon that have water or fighting energy attached take 20 less damage from attacks. So useful. I don't know if that's the best stadium. Two bosses order, very good, right? You switch your opponent's bench with their active. One energy search, uh, partly, as I said, I think, 
you play the four Irida, so you can't get water energy energy directly with Irida, but you can grab energy search with Irida and then get the energy. So that's I think why it's in the deck. Two Ultra Balls. We need to get those evolution Pokemon. Discard two cards. Search for any Pokemon. One switch. You switch. You're active with a bench, and then three rare candies to go from a basic to a stage two to one of the the Kingdras that you have in the deck. So a solid sixty. Uh, like I said, can be improved upon, certainly, but it's certainly playable the way it is. Let's take a look and see what we can do with the deck in action. All right, let's see if we can get a good game to show off this deck. Um, it's not a bad deck. It obviously can be better. It needs to get needs to be improved, but it it's it can pl it, it can play. It, it's look, it, it's a little weird. It's clunky. Um, the engine getting it set, you know. Getting set up is always a trick. Is a trick for a lot of decks. Um, this one is as well. We we can definitely make the deck set up better and function better, though. Uh, I do like to keep the feel of these decks. Um, all right, we both take a mulligan. If they're actually a fire deck, maybe a Charizard deck. You know, being a water deck is a real plus. What do we have there? Charizard EX. Okay, so which obviously is a really good deck. And if you're a new player. That was on the ladder. It was a very, good, it was a good deck for sure. And um, so I have Battle VIP Pass. I have a Nest Ball. I have nice cards here. Um, okay. So I go second. Um, oh, Mawile. Ma. Okay. So Mawile have to be careful now. I need to be able to attack with every Pokemon. That's what that means. Um, hmm. So let what do I want to do here? Do I not want to do the Reanchor Ninja? Hmm. I think I do want it though, right? I think I do want him. So. Let me get one more horsey down. And let me do this. Oh, Mel Mel uh, Melanie is a nice card, I gotta say. Melanie is a very nice card, so but he can't really do anything useful this turn. Okay, well, I want to draw. All right, drawing is good. Okay, well, that that's a nice get, too. Um, okay, so I'm going to make that play there and just end turn there. Okay, so that's not a bad turn. Um, I, hmm, these horsies have me a little concerned. Um see what happens. Maybe I should not have played two. We will see. We will see. Um, okay, NTV. NTV is nice because he is a fire type. It doesn't terastalize, doesn't change types. So, oh, uh, wow. Okay, well, that's very nice for them. Charizard EX. Boom. Um, what I want to try to do is get through the Charizard before taking out the Entei, because if I take when I take out the Entei, then the Charizard does more damage. Ooh, this is, but he's they're not gonna knock me out though. That's the good thing. Mm -hmm. They will not knock me out. So now they're gonna knock me out next turn. That part's kind of a given, right? So I'm gonna play Candace. I'm gonna take everything I got. What do I have? Like six cards? One, two, three, I have five, five of the seven are cards that can go into my hand. So that's good. So Palkia again. Um, uh, Cedra is nice for sure. Um, I just kind of want to, I think I want to hold off on, oh, I could rear candy here, you, right? Hmm. Kind of like that. Yeah, I kind of like this Kingdra, too. All right, I'm going to do that. I'll get this Kingdra into play. Because uh, he kind of powers himself up, which is very nice for sure. Um, let's see. I 
They're going to knock out my guy next turn. So let me get one energy in the discard pile. I don't think I want Finian down because um, they're playing the stall game here. Uh, my next turn could be tricky here. Um, so I will just, I do 180. I do 180, which isn't bad. It's not bad. Um, he does 40, 80. Not enough. So do I... I really need a Palkia V-Star next turn is what I need. It is what I need. Um, I don't know if I can do it, though. Um, yeah, I don't know if I can do it. So actually t attacking with... No, I don't know if I want to attack with Rear Greninja. I could take out the Mawile and the Pidgey, though. I'm going to send up the Palkia, who can finish him off, right? Oh, I can move them both, right? 40, 80. Um, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. See, now I don't have those with my Palkia, right? But that's probably better. I can attach with the Palkia. Eh, we'll see what happens here. Um, all right, so I want to, I want to dig here. And I have Clara. Oh, Clara's beautiful. Clara's a beautiful, beautiful card. Okay, so Clara makes my day here. Echoing Horn doesn't do anything. So do I want to grab back all this energy? I think I do. I think at this point... I don't want a second. I don't think I want a third Palkia, right? This game. Um, no, I don't want to grab the energy. I don't think. Did I grab? I grabbed the energy. All right. Well, anyway, I, I was dopey. I thought I had stopped putting it into my hand. Okay, so I will... So how much does he do, by the way? He does 180, so he gets the knockout here, which is very nice, I gotta say. Um, I was hoping to get the Kingdra that would um, kind of recirculate things, but that's okay. I have nothing to accelerate, so I'm, I'm kind of, I've tossed away Palkia's ability, which wasn't so smart of me, but um, I did hit through that tanky guy. A two shot on which isn't bad, you know. T honestly, two shotting at Charizard EX doesn't feel terrible. Um, this Entei, all right, he's weak, so he does 40, 80, a third one, and he does 120. So I just need a third energy, I just need one more energy on him, right? So that's really nice. Um, hmm. okay. So that Charizard is going to be very scary. Very, very scary there. Um, but I don't think... Okay, well, they're actually not going to blow up my Entei V, are they? So I could... I don't know what they're going to grab. I could hard retreat. I could hard retreat and then use Palkia's ability. Could do that. Um... That sounds kind of... I need to get some... I need another energy, though. I need one more. So I've kind of mess, messed this up here. Um, I can re re retreat away those two. Um, and then I can... Oh, no, I, I do that. That gets me three energy to accelerate. Because he, he loses both of his when he retreats. And I just... Boom and boom... Life is good. I, I have a very nice hand here. Um, retreat. Radiant Greninja goes up. Liking this. There's no mana fee in play, so life is good. Toss them all onto Radiant Greninja. So while I had not utilized Palkia's ability before, it's okie dokie. Don't boss. Just... Just take out the two Pokemon you can take out. And then take him out while he before he's tanky. 
which is really nice. And I have right now I have I think I have game on board. All right, so the, they they did a, improve the game. Um, it, it it takes both knockouts and I take both prizes at the same time. It goes knockout, knockout, and I take prizes, my two prizes. Before it was knockout, take a prize, knockout, take a prize. They smoothed that out, which will make it go a little faster. I um I'm glad. That's you know that's really how, kind of I think how you'd play it in real life here. So are they going to disrupt my hand? So Manaphy, but you're turned too late because <laughs> at this point. Like, you can't attack with Entei, right? If you attack with Entei, once I get a third energy, four times three, um, so I don't know. They should have fleet-footed first, probably. Um, they haven't used a supporter yet, so they could, you know, a high-end disruption's tough, but if they knock me out, I have, I just send up the, I, I move an energy onto the Kingdra and attack with him, and it's game. So, I just have to make sure the energy goes to the right Kingdra, and I have to make sure the way the mechanics are displayed that it, it, there's not a thing where the one Kingdra is first and the other one second, and I don't know which one is first and, and move it wrong. That, that of course, but the energy is left on the Kingdra without, you know. All right, so they're going to take out... Well, that's... I mean, okay. I mean, that loses them game. I mean, because my ability on my Kingdra is stay... Right? Oh, oh, he didn't have any energy. That's right. He had no energy. I forgot about that. I, I, I discarded the energy, but that's okay. I have an energy here in hand, which shouldn't be a shock. 160. Um, there we go. 240. And boom. Take the knockout. Take the two prizes. Look, they were weak to me, so it's it's obviously a big plus um, playing against the deck. The 1-1... The a dugong liner, if, if that's what it's called, is a bit odd in the deck. Um, I'm, I'm not sure how much I like value that in the deck, but I could be wrong. Um, I think if it's good, you want more than a 1-1 line, probably. But the deck definitely performed. Yes, they were weak to me, but a uh, solid performance from the Palkia starter deck. All right, hopefully get a nice de game to show off the deck. Last time, last game, which I don't think I'm going to upload, I got a... Good start, my opponent bricked and therefore just conceded on their second turn, I think. Or maybe their first turn. I don't remember. I think they went first, yeah. But and all they did is they play, play all they had their their starting Pokemon and they did nothing else. Um this might be a matchup with them, I'm not sure. In which case that would explain the thumbs up and when they just bricked and had to do a fast concede to me. Alright, so two horses, battle VIP pass, nest ball. I'm going to get exactly what I want onto the bench. I think it may be the same opponent. Don't know, but very well, maybe. So let me grab Greninja Green and a Palkia. Let's see. Okay. I think I want to... What else do I want to get down into play here? I think I might want another Palkia, right? Because Palkia is just good. Palkia is very good. And now, before, i probably play this horsey down, but let me discard an energy. Um, okay, that's not bad. I mean, it's not great, though. Uh, no, this is not great. Okay, and, and, and turn. Unfortunately, I didn't get to attach for a turn, which I really wanted to do. Obviously, um, Magma Basin. So I have my team to bump their Magma Basin, which is very nice. Um, hopefully they can use, from their standpoint, hopefully they get to use Magma Basin, though, right? Because it doesn't, wow, energy, EXP share to Bidoof. Well, that's a bit odd, I will say. So I have, like, nothing here. I mean, look, I can accelerate one energy, but I don't think I'm going to do that, right? Um, I want to bump their stadium. I think I will just wait. What, what's this ability? Okay, I'm just going to end turn because I got nothing here, and I don't want to accelerate one energy, right? I mean, that would just be really, really stupid, I would say. Um, so let's see what they do. Do they have anything, right? Um, so rare candy. So they get into the Charizard. Uh, that's very good. So uh, I send up the, 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 the Palkia. They don't one-shot the Palkia. 
Um, oh, okay, Ente. Um, that's a, that's that's actually probably a good play. Um, so now, if they hit boss, uh, that's concerning. I will say, that is concerning. I I may have to use Palkia's ability for like one energy. If like if I top deck an energy, I think I need to attack, um, and that's not a good feeling, um, at all. Um. So I, uh, I guess I gotta send up the Palkia, and I I really need, you know, I would like, you know, I'd like something good here. Uh, that is, all right. Well, I do this because if I'm accelerating the energy, it, it, it's fine. Hopefully, <sighs> this is not a good feeling. It's not a good feeling. All right. So I want to bump your stadium because that's what I want to do. And I'm going to do this. Um, I attack here, and I attach to the Palky on the bench. And it's not, I'm not in a good place here, though. I mean, I blow you up easy because you're, you're weak to me. It's the, it's the big tanky Charizard that I'm concerned about, though. Um, and I guess at some point they're going to attack with the barrel. I mean, okay, I mean, that's a nice get. I have the rare candy. So I can start to kind of uh, use my ability to get things set up, um, which is which is okay. Because they're not gonna. I mean, I really need to get some bench Pokemon down too, though, right? Uh, no, no supporters yet. So attach from hand, which is fine. Um, hopefully, I, I get some more Pokemon on the bench. Ooh, excuse me. Let's see what they grab. Okay. And the Charizard. And, yeah, that makes sense. Charizard, because they need to evolve the Charmeleon next turn. And they want to get back energies. I mean, they and they left one in if they get Magma Basin back into play. So it, it makes sense. So Arvin. See what they grab. Obviously a number of different things here. So a rod. Just a rod. Okay. That's fine. Um, it's not very useful to them, I, I don't think. I, I don't. They don't want Rod now, I don't think, but um, maybe they're going to discard some things to recover with Rod, too. That might be. Um, okay, get a Char Cadet down. Just getting some more things on, on the bench. And hey, the bigger the bench, the more damage I do. So I like that. They're not going to knock me out. They'll do one, they'll do 210, I believe, or oh, 190. Okay. So, uh, no energy in the discard pile. That is unfortunate. Uh, do I want to, I could retreat no, I'll save the melee for next. Okay, no, I, I do a couple things. When I do this, do I want to... I mean, the melody's not terrible for next turn, right? But I think I should be able to do something this turn. So I will... And my opponent's down to one card in deck, in hand. So I do not help them out, right? That would be a plus to them, unless they have the greatest card. Unless they have the perfect card. I don't want to do this. Um, I think I want to attach to the guy on the bench. Yeah, I, I could boss, but I don't think I want to. Um, yeah, I will just do this. 180, so I'm halfway there, right? So I could finish him off next turn, which is nice. Yeah, he's at 150. Um, I have boss, and I can get the Palkia with this hand, right? I can discard, discard, grab the Palkia. I mean, I need some more pieces, but um, it's not... Ter I mean, I, actually, it's not a bad play um, to do that. So Armor Rouge so they can move energy around which I guess is the idea from the Babarrel. They can move energy from off the Babarrel. Okay, so it starts to come together their plan. So it's Armor Rouge. Oh, Heat more. Um, so he can hit the bench too. So I could... They need six energies though. Which Do they play the Charizard from Go? I guess they do. Alright, so I want to... So I'd like to get Manaphy onto the bench. 
I do want to take him out, right? I'm pretty sure if I have the option, I want to take him out. So they're going to finish me off, but assuming I have this hand, promote the Palkia. I have Palkia in deck. I'm pretty certain I do for this game. So they have three there. Um... Okay, so they take me out. They don't hit the bench, though, so that's okay. Um, that's okay. They, look, they, they did a bunch of work, and they don't have any more energy acceleration next turn. So, um, yeah, so I was in really good shape there. I mean, they had to... Um, so, obviously, look, running into some of these fire decks, I've been seeing more fire decks now, and that is a good thing for Palkia if you play that. Um, so don't, look, here's what I'll say. I'm going to cut cut the, the video, the gameplay there. Um, the opponents, look, they, they had some struggles. Um, I've, I've also, the deck is obviously not optimized, and, and there's match a lot There's a lot of decks that are just better than, especially the starter deck build. But, look, it's, it's, a, it's a reasonable deck for sure, uh, between the different options, it's interesting to learn to play. So I certainly recommend learning to play the deck. And um, d and the other thing is, I certainly look forward to upgrading it, which I'll probably be, which I'll be doing shortly. Probably that'll be the video tomorrow. Uh, if you like these starter deck videos, just let me know by for, you know liking the videos um, and uh, commenting on it. I, I you know just lets me know what what people want, so I can kind of target things a little bit, and it's very encouraging to me. It does help it get out to more new players if you're finding these videos helpful. So again, play the deck, have some fun with it, and uh, look forward to upgrading it in the near future. Take care.